Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Monday and it's hay day. Actually, finally hay day. Also, summer has like literally ballooned where we live. We just finished spring and it was, we finally got to that stage where everything's like all green. Everything is all green and growing. Some bird up there talking to me, but the grass is all like the hay is all high talking to a friend this morning and she was telling me how where she lives in the states farmers water their hay they water their hay and I asked her why and she said well don't you and I said no it rains <laughs> so it rains in Canada I mean sometimes it doesn't rain as much as other times and by the end of the summer a lot of our grass will be burnt but not like where she lives it's like early early summer like just the beginning of summer and their grass is so scorched and dead i can't even believe it it's just so different such a different experience but anyway today is hay day and sam was out here early uh earlier he raked the hay over again because you guys know how with the dew and stuff early in the morning the top layer when the sun comes out the top layer will dry but then he flipped it over again so the bottom layer can dry let's do the test Mm. I don't think it's ready. <laughs> I'm so paranoid. But anyway, uh, that's the hay. Uh, that's what it's looking like. And today we are going to bale this all up. Horses are all out. Girls are just getting up and ready for the day. I always get like a little bit lost at the beginning of summer. There's no more school work to do. And I always forget like, what, what do we do? The change of routine is always difficult for me at the beginning of summer. I always fall into like a rut of trying to figure out what we need to do. But anyway, today there's a plan. Today we are doing hay, but we are also riding. And another friend sent me a message today telling me that their friend told them that when they, oh my goodness, when they got a thoroughbred, they used a specific system to help with saddle fit, which probably would have saved us all this time and energy if I can find it. So we actually have the saddle pad that they used. And I can't find it. There it is. For some reason I thought it was black. Ugh. This is it. This, my friends, is a miracle saddle pad. So I was reading up on it today and how it's used for thoroughbreds and I'm going to try and explain. So our chiropractor told us last year that we should get this saddle pad for Chino because his saddle kept slipping back. Could have got a non-slip pad, a gel pad, or we could have went any number of ways, but, but we ended up getting this thin line pad. And so basically it also has this grippy part where your saddle won't slide back. But what's super cool about it is that you can add shims. So I was really excited when she told us we should get the saddle pad and I bought it. And it was crazy expensive. Believe it or not, these things are crazy expensive. And I don't know why we got white. I think it's the only one that they had because they get so dirty. But anyway, we got this thin line saddle pad. I read this article that my friend sent me this morning that explained how you can use this thin line comfort pad with the shims to make uh, saddle fitting with a thoroughbred better. So when we bought this saddle pad, I had read up on it and what it could all be used for and I thought it was really exciting and really, really innovative and really cool. And I love the idea of all the things that it said you could do with it. But to get all those benefits, you have to have the shims and I don't have the shims. So when we bought it, I asked the lady at the tech store, like, do you have to sell the shims? And I think she told me that it's like kind of outdated now and they don't sell the shims, but, or maybe that they don't have the shims in their store, like they're not getting more shims in. So I don't have any shims. I'm gonna take this to the barn with us and I'm going to look online and see if I can find shims. I also sent her a message again today asking her, uh, hey, did you tell me you can't get the shims? Like, what's the deal with the shims? I just wanna say though that um, Chance does not like any amount of padding. He doesn't like a ton of padding under his saddle. He always tells us. Every time we kind of pat him up a bit to help him while he's gaining muscle so that the saddle fits properly, um, he always tells us, he always tells us, every single time, he's so good at that. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Playing cool, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. Just feel I need to take a ride Got my coffee 
This, my friends, is what we're feeding our horses. So nice. So there's a lot of hay left on the ground, so he's going to just rake it all up again and do another round of it. This is what I wanted to check. So this is what he was checking to see if it actually tied. Didn't tie and it, we don't think it tied. So back to the presses, guys. This is our first time ever, and it's exciting. So we did, we are able to like get it compressed into a square. <laughs> Just didn't, uh, there's the tie there though. Back to the drawing board. It's a new tractor to him, so he's gonna have to figure out how it all works, but we're gonna have hay, guys. We're gonna do our own hay. Like, in the past, we've had other people do it for us. It feels empowering and cool to make your own hay, to have your own hay. And the dogs really like it as a bed. <laughs> The baby, you guys know that foal? She's a year old. She's in the in the field with her boys. He's gonna crash through everything. He'll crash through everything. I don't have proper footwear on. Sophie has proper footwear on. Oh, don't you're crashing me. He totally ran me over. So the baby was in our boy's field. Or in Chance's field. And I don't know if she's supposed to be there. She was freaking out. Whoever buys her will be lucky because she's a jumping horse. <laughs> like, she's a Houdini of a horse. She goes everywhere. She, she, that girl, she's always everywhere. Yeah, so if he's in the bathroom, hi. Hi, big guy. There's big guy number one. Big guy number two. Car being carried around like a baby. He yeah, he's a little fat. So the baby wasn't supposed to be with Chance? The baby was not supposed to be within Chan with Chance. So we took a chance and we freed her and put her back. Chance was mad because Chance likes baby. They were all like far away from her. What? A single jump. One single jump. All right, get going. That's the most terrifying thing ever. Okay, hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're like an hour early, which means you have just enough time to groom. Because Tack up. If there's one single jump and if we ride in there, which we won't, um, Brennan would sit up a lot more. So uh, if you use this saddle pad, Sophie, it's got the no grip, the no slip built in and it doesn't add extra girth because you know, Chance, Chance like well, no, I think he will like it better than adding girth. I can't believe we're doing hay. I can't believe we're doing hay. Chino, you know what's happening at our farm? We're doing hay. Yeah. He doesn't care about Yeah, he doesn't care about hay. He cares about his friend. He's got a girl, a pony. Half of him is chestnut and half of him is bay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The half in the sun. She says the half in the sun is chestnut. Oh, yeah. You guys see the difference? I mean, you can't really see it in the camera, but I see a lot of red in there. So I figured out why our horses are all scratching their butts off. It's because they're sweating underneath their tail. Chance is like, oh, not this again. I remember, he's remembering, look at him. He's like, I remember what happened last this time. Guys, this used to be pink. This used to be pink. The dogs got to it because the dogs love chasing things. Yeah. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. He looks so cute. You're so cute. Like another instructor at the barn today. I tricked him into giving us a lesson. Normally like Brandon teaches us. But there's like another coach. That was so worth it you guys. Like I uh, love, like we need to do more clinics. We do because every coach says the, the same kind of thing but they say it differently and it really makes such a huge difference. Sophie understood some things differently and when there's a new coach, and this is the big thing, when there's a new coach, they don't know them. They don't like, they don't, they don't know each other. So the kids are always on their best behavior and they are always just listening and paying attention and doing better. 
because he literally said all the same stuff as Brandon, all the exact same stuff, but, but they're so used to Brandon and they know like, I don't know, it's hard. It's so good to, to I think we're gonna do more clinics. Like, literally, the lesson's been done for 15 minutes and he's still lecturing them and like, and he lectured them at the beginning for like the longest time and like, it was like they went, he's like, we're going back to basics, we're just starting from the beginning and he made them answer all of his questions. He didn't tell them, he made them answer, it was so good. Chance was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. The biggest takeaway that I got, yeah, suddenly we were touching his head and he doesn't like it. Like um, I touched his head and he was he like. He was walking in front of us. And I, well, I was walking with Chance while I was on him. And Chance literally stopped and spooked. Yeah. Because like he was so close to him touching his head. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if he like banged if his head. If a guy touches his head, he freaks out. Right oh, yeah, that's, I'll have to look at his head. But. Anyways, he did good. The biggest takeaway from Sophie's lesson I got was to, and Brandon's been saying this and saying this, push him forward, make him go, make him go forward, and she did. But he really likes that saddle. You know it's not the right saddle for Sophie, and we're working on it. And the biggest thing that, takeaway I got from Gabby's lesson, anyway, the last year, Gabby's given up spurs and using them. And so Chino's like slowed down and I've always been like, I wonder why he's doing that. And it's because Gabby's not making him. So he was like, yeah, like you're the driver here. You, you are making your horse go and get after him. And he talked like a lot about, about nagging, like stop nagging him, go. And that's it. Like those are the only options. Oh God, it was such a good lesson. It was so good. It's all the same stuff that Brandon says all the time, but hearing it a different way, can make all the difference. It was so good, you guys. Yeah, I'll grab you a water. And you guys would not believe the things that this trainer said. Everything that you guys say, which we already knew. But he basically, like, he was tough. It's time to hit the hay, guys. Oh.